I've heard a lot of confusion regarding metformin and PET scans. Here, I'm trying to provide you with the facts and clarify any misconceptions. This picture shows how metformin affects tumor imaging and PET scans. To give you some background information, 18FFLT is a key player in measuring cell proliferation, while 18FFDG is crucial for assessing glucose uptake in cells. Now, here's where it gets interesting and confusing. In experiments involving HT29 tumor-bearing animals, and for those not in the know, HT29 is a colon cancer cell line, something unusual was observed. After administering metformin, a common diabetes medication now being explored in cancer treatment, the uptake of these two compounds by the tumors changed dramatically in opposite directions. After metformin treatment, there was a significant increase in 18-FFTG uptake, but a decrease in 18-FFLT uptake. This biphasic response can be tricky, potentially leading to misinterpretations in evaluating a patient's response to treatment. Initially, a patient might seem like they're not responding to the treatment due to the increased 18-FFTG uptake. However, even when the tumor size reduces, the relative increase in uptake could suggest an inadequate response when in fact, it's just a part of the complex interplay between metformin and cancer cells. Our accumulated clinical knowledge has revealed that metformin changes how glucose is taken up in both normal organs and tumors, which is crucial for PET reporting. So, what does metformin actually do? It increases glucose uptake in areas like the gastrointestinal tract, cerebral white matter, and kidneys. Interestingly, parts of the brain linked with memory actually show a decrease in glucose uptake, and the heart muscle? No change there. But when it comes to cancer, things get even more complex. Metformin ramps up glucose uptake in liver and breast cancers, but thyroid cancer shows a decrease, and colon and pancreatic cancers don't change at all. Because of these varied effects, it's usually recommended to stop metformin 48 hours before a PET scan. And here's a key point, this increased glucose uptake doesn't necessarily mean a tumor is growing faster or that the patient's condition is worsening. It's more like an imaging artifact, influenced by metformin activating an enzyme called AMPK. This makes interpreting PET scans in patients on metformin a bit of a balancing act, understanding the drug's influence without jumping to conclusions about the patient's progress.